Hi guys, another vlog today, I think it's yard vlog 8, I feel like crying, what a day I've had, like a day from hell, it's all gone pitong for me today, right where do I start, it's such a mad day it's been, um, so I'll get the Vansoms out today now, and do a good mower, do a good video on it, cut in video, in action video, so I went in here to get it out, this is where it was, and I saw a big patch underneath, I thought, oh, what size? Never leaked anything before. Looked in the tank to drain to top it up, empty. So somehow the float must have stuck and dropped all the petrol out. So that was the first thing I'd encounter. Pulled the pull cord, petrol gushing out the exhaust, full. The exhaust was full. I was going to try to take the exhaust off outside. Got it outside. I tools everywhere, went through loads of spark plugs. Each time I put a spark plug in, they're not the right ones, but they were like, make sure they're short enough. Just wet straight away. And there was a two stroke mix in there, so it wasn't evaporating off. Anyway, um, we don't go in now with this. So I had to tip it on the side then, to get all the, the petrol out of the exhaust. So that was our problem. I thought I'd look at the carbs, I couldn't get it started then. So I took the bowl off under there, took the bowl off the carb, the gasket, the rubber gasket, it was expanded, I couldn't get it back in. So I put it back together, but it started, anyway, put it back together with the gasket I had. But now what after, I have to pull in the yellow to doing everything. I put a new switch up, well, I, put, I fixed the old switch that was on it. Me bad, I put the on and off the on, wrong way around. That's all it was. Obviously it was petrol in it flooded as well. On and off the wrong way round. So I put my spark tester on. I was going mad to myself. So I got to get off here now, thin as right to the right way this time. So that was that. Um, got it going then. Went up the field, started cutting. Belt came off again. It came off last time I was using it. And it started leaking from the, the bowl. And I can't believe this, what a day I'm having. But lucky enough, we put the light on there. I bought a load of O rings and they were Aldi special. I tell you what, they've saved the day. Two sets of them there. They're really thick ones, like metric or whatever, with different sizes. And look how thin that one. Perfecto. Good sets to have, guys. Look how big they go. Awesome. That one there saved the day. That's the one. Anyway. I gotta have a clean up. I'll show you next door now. Shocking. I'm gonna have to hire a, um, a cleaner, I think. Are we still on? What do you think? So the belts are gone on here now. It's all chewed up. I went through some thicker stuff on a previous video. I did get a bit of footage. I will put it on. Oh, I gotta fix this as well. For a guy. But he pulled cords on the Aldi. Works on. So I might do a video on that. Let's drop it down and have a look. Um. Yeah, so the belts are gone on here now. They don't completely snap, but they're just like shredded and shrunk. So, <laughs> i got to suss that out. I'm half tempted to paint the deck of this quick. This is my restoration, the, the Wessex. I got some green. Just rolled it for a minute just to get it waterproof. And just get it back together, just so I can carry on. Because like I said, without this, this mower, I'd struggle up there. Is it get thick? I'll show you now. Go for a walk on it now. All right. I've got all the stuff out today, I was going mad. I'm just trying to fix it. Um, the grass is going really fast on me. I did do a video um, in the week. I cut this a week ago Wednesday. It's not Wednesday gone, we're on Saturday morning now. Well, Saturday. And by the Tuesday, I've grown like seven inches. Some of these shoots. Look at that one. That's just over a week. That's like ten inches. Anyway, fast growing grass on, yeah? Um, I gotta get back on my car, the Triumph, be honest with you. I gotta get it painted, because that's the last customer car I'm doing. I've hung my spray gun up then, just doing my own stuff. I haven't had no pressure off the, off the guy if it was to him. But um, I gotta get it done. Now the weather's getting better. So, we'll be painting them soon, so look out for some videos on this. 
um, pretty much there I am. I just covered him up yesterday. That's the beauty of this uh, polythene, the car sheet in. I got him down to steel it because I didn't like it. It was rust under the under the paint. It was like, well, I don't know, five, six quarts of paint on it over the years. That's why I took it back. I took the full car back to bare metal. That's what took time. I am it across there. That's the last bit of fill on the bonnet. So I'm prime man now. Uh, roll it Monday. Rub that down and wait for my next coat then. i probably my light coat to spray with a gun. Just clean on the shuts then. Sand around them. Sand around the front. So like I said, I don't do much on the bodywork of, of the cars, the videos. But I will do a few videos coming up in the future of me painting it. I think people will find that interesting. So I'll definitely do that. That's what I'm doing in here as well. Let me show you my middle shop in a minute. A bit of an idea I had, but it uh, didn't work out that good. A while ago I did start fixing stuff. Two-stock machinery, all stuff like that. So this is my bit of a shop I made. I bought some signs, nice Shindawar up there, see? Still on the front of my counter, look at that one. There's a big sign across the front there. Still. That's Gvana over there, at the back, like a big banner. See? It's a good one. You see them outside dealerships and all that. Blowing around in the wind. Some boxes off stuff, like all empty boxes, mine, so no one will rob me. The camera, but there, anyway, it's fully camera wrong, yeah. Um, yeah, I did, that is my MX261, um, my new one, I was there, and also my, my 372 come in, that box there, that's my box, uh, uh, my 325 strimmer, but, um, do you think I need a clean up, guys? It's getting smaller, my pathway, I know that, uh, the good sources are. Nothing wrong with that. Sax Dolma 112 limited edition now. This as well, silver. I know she was in the film, one of the films, Chainsaw Massacre. Like a 70s, 80s saw. i got to get a new bar for it. It starts up, runs alright. So we do now in the future. I might start getting a few classic saws. I used to have McCulloch 610s. The two of them. Pro Max. They're good saws. I liked them, I did. And a little Mighty Mac I had as well. The top handle saw. That was a good one. But I will clean it out, don't ya? That's a good sign, isn't it? I'd like behind that, a Shindawa. I like Shindawa stuff, it's good, good stuff. Good Japanese. Well made. So, anyway. Um, I haven't done anything with this yet. I still gotta weld that really tired um, machine. Well, tire changer to, to break the beads. I put a bit of aluminium on your yard, I thought a good idea. I'm going to fix that on there, on the tabletop, cut that one to size. And I'm going to drill and countersink so it's still flat then when I pop the other day. So I'll be alright. I'm going to do back brakes on this van here. Um, that's pretty much it then. i got to put, take the spike off because we finished with the A-Lidge now. Go for a walk up there. I moved the horses into the backfield. I don't know if I showed you that. I don't think it was that in the vlog. I don't know, can't remember. So I cut this. Oh, last Thursday. Look who's coming again. It's greened up better around the, everything now. So what I do, I strim it then. I do my first cut first, opposite way round, and then strim because it's awkward between the caravans. But once I get down better like this, I can see what I'm doing and I just walk around and keep strimming there. That's a one, one pass up here. But look how long it is up there. And that's what I'm going to do today. It's on a good go with the ransoms, the bunting. I had one pass coming on here. You can see it. This is where the belt went there. It was thicker stuff, not too thick as that, that go in the field, that, that mower, but look, bits of the belt. So I didn't like it at all, it must have slowed down by there, look, it didn't cut between the two blades. So not good, so we're going to do all this on yeah. I've done all that one day, but that's with our Wessex mower, so handy. 
on the tractor to reverse in, well, drive through there, and just do a list of the tractor. Effortless. I said it's a lot of work with the 21, cutting all this, bits of the belt. That's what I tried fixing it. Yeah, so I might have to put that um, wear six back together, back on the David Brown, just to carry on around ya. And then we carry on with the restoration, like, like straight after the season then. Uh, take the front loader off, so we've got more maneuverability around ya. The last thing I'm going to do is hit the, the close to a caravan. So that's this belt problem now. Because I've got to try to find a belt, and if I went through the ransoms or bunting, I'd be getting it from America. But this is how I. The easiest way to measure a belt. Get some cord, because the other belt stretched, uh, shrunk. So I can't really go by that now. I can come back on that a bit, on what I've done, because it's a bit slack. So I'd say go down a little bit shorter. But get some cord, run it around where you want to go, make sure it's in line with everything on all the pulleys. Um, go round it then, like I have. Tape it up. And then you just cut the cord, which I'm doing now. So this is just a, a way of getting the right size belt. So I'm cutting the cord now. There we are. Just pull that back out. If you haven't got a cut there, just take it back off. But you've got to measure it in one line, like a straight line like that. Right? So that's the length. I'm sure you measure there completely around the circumference. Yeah, that's right. Also, you want to measure the grooves on the pulleys, and I know this is a 5.8 belt, 16 mil, because the other one option was half inch. So 5.8 fits in there nice, quite snug on the sides. So that's the belt I want. I want a 5.8 belt, 16 mil, just roughly, by this length. So measure that, and uh, get a belt for this quick and get it back going. There we are then, that's that video, so look out for some more videos, I'll be doing a lot more uh, action videos like uh, of everything being used, the strimmers, the edge cutters, uh, I'll be doing edges soon because they're growing pretty good now, um, yeah that's it, does anyone subscribe, thanks for watching, cheers.